This is a real quick little video on Morse taper attachments for your lathe tailstock and more specifically how to eject them. Now, just recently, my very good friend Rob over on his Zenudu YouTube channel did an excellent video about how to add an ejection tang to Morse taper attachments, which like this, the like these, all of these don't have one. Now, as you can see, this is a selection of taper attachments for the tailstock on my Walco WM180 lathe. And as you can see, none of these have eject tangs. Now there's an actually very good reason for that because the ones that did have, I've simply cut off. And why did I do that? Well, ejection tangs on more taper attachments for your tailstock are fine if you have a nice big large lathe. If you have a small lathe, like my little Warco WM180, the length of the Morse taper in the tailstock spindle is quite short. So if you have a tang on the end of your Morse taper attachment, it adds, in some cases, an inch to the end, end of the taper. And this will shorten the travel on your tailstock spindle by that amount, because you have to have the tailstock spindle wound out at least an inch before you can actually get the taper attachment in. So that's one of the reasons why it's not useful if you own a very small lathe to have an ejection tang on the end of your Morse taper attachments. Right, we'll, what we'll do now is we'll go over to the, the actual lathe itself and I'll show you what I mean. Right, we're over on the Walco. Here's the old tailstock. Now, this is very short. It's, it's, I don't know what that is, four or five inches, maybe the tailstock, the whole body. So, you know, the, 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 the actual spindle itself is, is not that long. And the taper inside the spindle is also very short. So we'll put this small live center in. Now this has quite a long taper on it. We'll stick that in there like that. And then we simply wind the spindle back and at a certain point, quite near the end there, it will eject perfectly okay, no problem at all. Now we will put in the collet, this collet chuck, which has, it's probably about 15 mil shorter, the, the taper on, the, on this, so stick that in there. Wind this, wind this back in and it won't eject. It's reached the end of its travel and it, this won't eject. Now, Rob's method to add an ejection tang was very simple and very effective. And, and he basically drilled a hole in the end of the taper here tapped it and put a bolt in. And this is ideal because you can adjust, literally then adjust the length of the tang that's on the end to suit whatever spindle you have on your lathe. And it's also very useful if you have, like Rob's very fortunate in the fact that he has several different lathes and he uses these uh, attachments in the, in the various different tailstocks on his different lathes. However, if you've just got one lathe like I have, then there's a, there is another simpler method that you can use to eject these things. And this is it. Now this is simply a lump of brass that I've machined out into a U section. And this section here is slightly a few foul wider than the tailstock spindle. And it simply sits on there like that. Then when I wind this back, There we go. Out pops the taper attachment. And the beauty of this is that obviously you don't have to do any modifications to your taper attachments. No drilling or tapping required. And it's very easy to do. It, it really is very, very simple to make, make this. Now I made this out of brass, but you could make this out of aluminium. That would work just as well. As I said, it's designed to be an easy fit over the spindle. So there is a little bit of play, just not much, just a few thou. And it obviously butts up against the back of the tailstock and then it butts up against the back of whatever attachment you've got in here. And this works fine for all of the different uh, taper attachments that I've got that won't eject normally. Um, and it's a very, very simple method. Now, obviously this <laughs> doesn't have the flexibility of Rob's method because this is only designed to, let's put this down, this, eject spacer is only designed to fit around this spindle. And if you've got multiple lathes, then you'd need to make multiple ones of these because obviously the spindles almost certainly will be different diameters. But I think it's a very simple and easy method to, you, to use for ejecting more taper attachments from your tailstock if they don't have ejection tanks. 
So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.